It's time to take a look now at what's been grabbing headlines here in France. And I'm joined on set by Florence Villeminot. Good Hi, morning Thomas. to you, Florence. And you're starting with um, a look at, um, obviously, Iran and the elections there, which are grabbing headlines. That's right. Liberation has a special report uh, from Iran. Iran, which uh, made its comeback on the international scene last year thanks to the nuclear deal. Now, all eyes are on today's election. Could progressive pro-democracy parties win? Well, it's unlikely, according to Liberation, given the strong grip that conservatives hold on the country. Thus, the headline here, silence in Iran. In its editorial, Liberation focuses on what it calls this muted power struggle that we're seeing taking place in Iran right now between conservative hardliners and more moderate reformers who, according to Liberation, are being sidelined. But the outcome of this muted power struggle is very important, not only for Iran, but for the whole region in general, in particular the situation in Syria right now. Let's move on now to French politics. The Socialist Party is in crisis. <laughs> That's right. Now, the Socialist Party is on the verge of an implosion, according to uh, Le Parisien today. It's so bad that le, le, you can see le, Aujourd'hui en France, Le Parisien wonders, will the Socialist Party actually make it through the winter? With 14 months to go uh, before the presidential election, the divisions in the party seem irreparable. This time, the left wing could really die, according to Aujourd'hui en France, Le Parisien. Very dramatic. What happened? Well, yesterday, a heavyweight in the Socialist Party, Martin Martine Aubry, the very powerful mayor of Lille, wrote an incendiary piece in Le Monde, lashing out against President François Hollande's government's plan to reform the labor code. It had the effect of a bombshell. Essentially, she's accusing Hollande of not being left-wing enough. And if we take a look at that cartoon there, what you can see is Hollande saying, the left is imploding. And the economy minister, Emmanuel Macron, saying, well, why does that concern us? And in the middle, you can see Manuel Valls, the prime minister, saying, Macron, shut up. <laughs> and uh, the Parisian takes a closer look at the internal divisions within the left wing, and it's quite complicated. That's right, and it uh, has a very handy diagram explaining what it calls the war of the left. There's several clans here, and on the right... Looks like SimCity. Exactly. <laughs> you have Manuel Valls there on the right. Mr. Bulldozer, he's unapologetic about defending policies that favor uh, liberal uh, free market economics, high security, essentially uh, policies that are often seen as being right wing. Uh, in the middle, you have François Hollande. He wants to reform and keep the socialist family together, so try to make everyone happy. And then on the left, you have Martine Aubry. Now, Martine Aubry used to be the leader of the socialist party and she was the mastermind of the 35 hour working week she's seen as being kind of a guard dog uh, within the left of its conscious its left conscious uh, and she says that all she's trying to do is protect the party from the current pull to the right that we're seeing with Manuel Valls. Well the mayor of Lille Martin Aubry says she has no ambitions to run for president but others aren't so sure. That's right according to Le Figaro Aubry is being very vague. To quote Katy Perry, she's hot and she's cold. Now, more seriously, Le Figaro quotes Martine Aubry herself. Uh, she once famously said, Quand c'est flou, il y a un loup. Now, that rhymes in French, but essentially it not means... Not in English, I'm not sure. Not in English. <laughs> I tried my best, but I could not make it rhyme. It essentially means when there's smoke, there's fire. And according to Le Figaro, there's a lot of smoke these days. Uh, Aubry has marked a spectacular comeback onto the public scene. She's everywhere. She's on every single radio station, every single TV station, etc., and this, according to Le Figaro, is very suspicious. OK, let's move on to um, France's biggest agricultural fair, which is set to open its doors tomorrow amid uh, a crisis in the farming community. That's right. That is, of course, the big deal that we've been reporting on for, for months now. L'Humanité, the communist paper, says that uh, French farmers are right to be angry. The just anger of farmers. The whole agricultural system is bursting at the seams. Now, meanwhile, the agricultural minister, Stéphane Le Foll, gives an interview to La Croix, the Catholic paper, today on their front page. You can see uh, Le Foll s'explique. He's explaining himself. Uh, inside, he says he's pretty hopeful that there is a solution that's possible so long as there is a dialogue. Uh, and you can see this quote, he's a little bit hopeful here, he says, I don't believe in a global collapse of livestock farming, but he says that Europe also has to do its part. Okay, um, Florence, you're breaking my heart, but you're ending with some bad news. Uh, for once, I'm going to end with some bad news. And a word of warning, it must be said. Let's take a look at uh, Le Parisien. Uh, it says that uh, syphilis <laughs> is making a comeback. Now, the, we, it was believed that the sexually transmitted disease had completely disappeared, but it's actually made a comeback, and there are about 500 cases a year. 
now the, the <laughs> this is a very serious topic of course the photos that well the, the paintings you can see here are, are famous cases of people who had syphilis you have Schubert um, Guy de Maupassant they, they actually died from syphilis you also have uh, the author uh, Karen Blixen she managed to survive of course if you have seen Out of Africa, that was in that movie. Uh, today, there is a cure for syphilis, so that is good news. Uh, and But the article here does warn people and, and su suggest that they take their precautions. Uh, and I must admit, when I was researching this piece, I, I made the big mistake of, of looking uh, at Google Images. And I must admit, I, I don't wish why would anybody you, Why to would make, you do that? I clicked by mistake. <laughs> I, was, I was looking for uh, articles on it. And anyway, don't make that, that mistake and, and use your precautions. <laughs> OK, Florence, thanks for that warning and for that recap of the, um, the headlines here in France.